Okay, this is um, Creality Space Pi X4. It's a frame and dryer. Creality sent it to me to try out. Okay, that has a latch for a lock. So there's two chamber. Okay, inside the chamber, ventilation fan. Uh, it's a metal roller with a with a plastic sleeve. So you can feed the filament directly from the dryer. There's an exit port here, but uh, uh, they don't they don't come with a PTFE tube. So you probably need to um, uh, bring your own PTFE tube here. There's um, a pocket for desiccant. Alright, most of my filament that I use is um, ABS, but uh, long before, before I have an enclosed printer, I use uh, PETG because uh, I, I print a functional part and PETG, it absorbs the moisture very well. But since I got the K1 Max, I switched from PETG to uh, ABS. And ABS is not absorbing any moisture. Uh, even though uh, my location it has a high humidity, 60-70% of the humidity in the summer. Uh, I haven't had any issue with uh, ABS, but uh, PLA. Uh, for PLA, I, I also don't need to put it in, uh, in a bag with the uh, desiccant. I just leave it uh, like this, open, and I never have a stringing uh, issue with the extruder. Okay, one thing I noticed that there's a gasket over the, over the lid here, so it's airtight. When I close it, it's gonna be airtight. Okay, if you look in the back, we have a power switch, and also the exit port on the back as well. That's a port on the front. So you can choose whether on the front or um, from the back. The power lighting is uh, 360 watts, so it's quite power hungry. Okay, so it has a touch screen. English. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, let's try. Um. So can I choose a filament type? All right, okay, it's quite deep inside here. On the left, I have ABS. And this one is also ABS. What is that application? Okay, so if I click on here, please confirm that the filament is full heat. Resistance is okay. All right, so on the left, it's drying ABS to 80 degrees Celsius. On the right, um, I have both um, PLA and PLA, okay. So when turn it on, there's going to be a lighting inside. The fan in the back is not, not spinning. It's just uh, the heating fan is, is running. Okay, now um, with the auto drying mode, you can set the threshold. So when the humidity is over 50%, it's going to start by itself uh, by using this uh, target temperature for 30 minutes. You can change all this. So when the uh, humidity threshold is over 50%, it will, it should um, <laughs> start to uh, dry itself. Okay, and this one is uh, automatic control for the, the real fans, the fans on the back side. So when the, it will activate itself to expel the moisture. So I leave it to on. And for the auto drying, I turn it off because now I'm going to dry um, this uh, four rolls of the filament. Because it's been like uh, these two rolls is about uh, one month old. And these two rolls is over a year. I haven't dried yet. So on the left now we have uh, 69 degrees. And on the right, we have 50 degrees Celsius, which is the maximum temperature for the PLA. And the humidity on the left is much lower, it's 31%. On the right, it's 58.
Okay, so 62 on the lid. Let's check. I say 80 in the chamber. Okay, it has been turned on for about two hours. As you can see that um, on the right chamber, uh, the humidity has dropped from 60% down to 51. And on the left chamber, it has highest temperature. So uh, humidity is quite low at only 20%. So if I can use high temperature with the PLA, it will have dry faster, but it's going to melt. So 